Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. If you're hopping on board that meal prep train like I am, then these vegetarian bean burritos are a great place to start. They're freezer friendly, so you always have a grab and go meal on hand when you need one, and they're ready in less than 30 minutes. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Cassidy. I'm a registered dietitian and I share easy vegetarian recipes on my channel and over at CozyPeachKitchen.com. Hit subscribe because I have a new video uploaded every single week. We're keeping these burritos super simple. The main components are a pinto bean base, which is made up of pinto beans and a few seasonings, and a chipotle sauce, which is made up of Greek yogurt. Now this is a vegetarian recipe, but it's so simple to make vegan, and I'll make sure to throw in those non-dairy options and non-egg options along the way. The first thing we're gonna do is make the bean filling. So we're using two cans of pinto beans, which have been drained and rinsed. This is equal to about three cups of beans if you're cooking your beans from dry, like I did. Add in a half cup veggie broth. You can use water if that's what you have on hand. A half teaspoon onion powder. Half a teaspoon garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're going to blend this into kind of a chunky mixture. This is just an easier way to break down the beans. You could always do it by hand or you could use a food processor. The goal is just to get the beans mostly broken down into a bit of a paste, kind of like refried bean consistency. So if you plan on just making these as freezer burritos, you can actually skip this step. We're moving over to the stove to heat them up because if you're eating your burritos now, I'm sure you want them hot. I'll add in one cup of frozen corn. I'm using the roasted corn from Trader Joe's, which has kind of a fun flavor, but you can just use regular sweet corn if you prefer. We're just gonna heat this over medium heat until it's warmed through. Next up is the chipotle aioli, which adds a ton of flavor to the burritos. I'm using six ounces of plain Greek yogurt, but you could always use a non-dairy yogurt like coconut yogurt or even a vegan mayo to make this entire recipe vegan. And then one chipotle chili pepper. This is from a can of chipotle chilies in adobo sauce. We're also using one tablespoon of adobo sauce from that can. Add in two tablespoons of lemon juice. This is from about half of a large lemon. This helps to thin the sauce and it also adds a nice tang. I'm adding in half a teaspoon of garlic powder. You could definitely use minced garlic if you feel like chopping it up. Mix all of that together and it should be a pretty smooth consistency. Now for the cilantro salad. So I am slicing up half a bunch of scallions, including the white parts and the green parts. And then I'll roughly chop up half a bunch of cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you can of course skip this step, but I do think this fresh herbiness adds a lot to the salad and really contrasts the creaminess of the chipotle sauce and the simplicity of the beans. For some greens, I am adding in some spinach to this little salad, so I'm just gonna roughly chop that up. Since romaine doesn't freeze as well, I recommend sticking to a heartier green like spinach or arugula. These pumpkin seeds, also known as pepitas, are my favorite part of these burritos. I know that's kind of silly to say something like that is my favorite, but toasting them just over medium high heat makes them have this wonderfully crisp texture. It's a nice little pop. You don't even need to add any oil to the pan. Those are the main components, so now we get to make the burritos. I'm using 12 inch flour tortillas. You can of course use any kind of tortilla you prefer, like a gluten-free tortilla to make this entire recipe gluten-free. And we'll start by layering that spinach salad on the bottom. From there, we'll add on about a quarter of that bean mixture. So that comes out to about a half cup. Add the pumpkin seeds on top. Top that with your chipotle mayo. Make sure to spread it all over so that it's evenly distributed. I love adding pickled onions because they add a ton of acidity and tang. If you don't have the time to make them or you don't really like them, you can just add a squeeze of lime juice directly to the burrito fillings, or you can squeeze that lime juice on the cilantro salad. Now the easiest way to fold the burrito is what I'm doing here. So as you can see, you really want to keep everything the same width. If the end starts splaying out, then you'll have trouble really folding and wrapping that burrito. I'm putting all of these burritos into a freezer bag and labeling it. Of course, you can just make these and have them throughout the week. You don't have to freeze them, but they do freeze super well. Mm -hmm. 
to reheat these, you're just gonna pop them in the microwave for about three minutes total. Make sure to flip them over halfway through and they should heat through really well. You can pull them straight out of the freezer, pop them in the microwave and have lunch ready right away. I'll be in the same place, same time next week, so don't forget to hit subscribe and you will get a little notification whenever I post a new video.